All right, just in time for Thanksgiving, there's this. And sorry about this. Uh, the average person will eat more than 4,500 calories this Thanksgiving. Delicious calories all. Uh, in today's Mom's Everyday Live on Mondays, Emily Wood shows us the tricks to eating what you want with a few fewer calories. Of course, we don't want anyone to tell us how or what to eat on Thanksgiving, but a couple tips and tricks such as avoiding the pre-made goods and doing it yourself can save you a lot of calories in the buffet line. From the appetizers to the desserts, it's oh so easy to stuff yourself right along with the bird on Turkey Day, but we do have options. And they're made with whole grain, they have fiber and B vitamins, where your white rolls, a lot of that's stripped out. So that's an easy swap out you can do to increase the nutrient value of your Thanksgiving dinner rolls. And looking at some unlikely places could help save you some unnecessary calories and spare you from that ingredient list you can't pronounce, such as swapping pre-made cream for whipping your own, using maple syrup to make your own cranberries, and checking the grams of sugar in your favorite beverages. Surprisingly, hot cocoa wins over sparkling grape juice and even cider. And I'm looking at some major calorie differences here. Yes the kind of pie you choose makes a big difference. Here's the calorie count for a 1 8 slice of that pie. It's 210 for pumpkin, 300 for apple, more than 500 for pecan. Be sure to jump on my Facebook page for the entire Mom Monday episode and it's not too late to ask questions. Nope, we'll be checking the feed all night long so we'll answer them as they come in. We'll see you there. Back to you.